just go ahead and offer your praise unto God. That song says, who shall I offer my praise unto? Who shall I offer my worship unto? I will offer it unto God. Just go ahead and offer your praise unto him. Offer it unto him. He alone, he alone deserves it all. He alone deserves our praise. He alone deserves our worship. Oh, Lord, we bless you. Father, we adore you. Be magnified, oh God. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Please lift up your Bible as we take the affirmation together. Just rise on your feet and lift up that Bible. And together we say, this is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. I am about to receive the incorruptible, indestructible, eternal seed of the word of God. My mind is alert. My heart is receptive. I will never be the same again. Never, never, never. I will never be the same again in Jesus' name. Amen. And while still standing, please open with me. Exodus chapter 15, and we read verse 11. Exodus 15, verse 11. Let's read together. Who is like unto thee, O Lord, among the gods? Who is like thee, glorious in holiness, fearful in praises, doing wonders. Today is a great day of celebration. The last time we did a Thanksgiving service in church was in March, six months ago. Is somebody grateful to be back in his presence to say thank you, Lord? To say thank you, Lord. To say, Father, thank you, Lord. So we are going to take that song of celebration. It says, Thanksgiving. I'm acknowledging you for who you are, for what you have done. Because if not for you, I won't be back here today. Let's take that song as you dance unto God. I'm acknowledging you for who you are, for what you've done. In my life, oh Lord, I'm acknowledging you for who you are. That's accurate. Oh, 
acknowledge you for who you are. We thank you, Lord, for what you have done in our lives. Before the lockdown, we were here. The lockdown is over. We are still alive to say thank you. Daddy, you alone deserve all the praise. As we go into your word, please meet every one of us here in the auditorium, joining us online in Nigeria, outside of Nigeria. Meet everyone at the point of our needs. Let our joy be full and take all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. God bless you. Please take your seat majestically. Good morning. I hope and pray that you are all doing well and that God Almighty will continue to place his hand of mercy, his hand of protection, his hand of favor upon your life in Jesus' name. You will not expire with coronavirus in the mighty name of Jesus. You saw the beginning of the virus, you shall see the end in Jesus' name. The sermon is titled, Who is like unto thee, O Lord? Who is like unto thee, O Lord? Today we sing that song in church. But that was the song they sang when they came out of Egypt. In Exodus chapter 15, that song just came forth out of their mouth because they saw the power of God. As you begin a new month today, the kind of power, the kind of favor, the kind of glory, the kind of grace, the kind of mercy that you have never experienced in your life, receive it in the mighty name of Jesus. Number one, from captivity to freedom. From captivity to... They sang because they became free. That's why they sang that song. It's a song of freedom. It is a song of victory. And I pray that going forth from today, you will sing that song regularly in the mighty name of Jesus. It is good to be free. I don't know if you agree. It is good to be free. <laughs> and I pray for somebody here today. The freedom that you need to be able to express the talent that God has given unto you. Receive it today in the mighty name of Jesus. I don't know what has been the obstacle. But there is a gift that God has given you. Whatever the captivity has been that has not allowed you to flourish in the anointing of God for your life. I break the yoke in the mighty name of Jesus. You are here this morning. The freedom that you need to become who God has made you to be. Receive that freedom in the mighty name of Jesus. There are many that are ordained and destined to be big but are still living small. Many that are ordained to be mighty for God are still roaming the streets in captivity. I pray one more time for you from the bottom of my heart. The freedom to become who God has made you to be. Receive it in the mighty name of Jesus. Your destiny shall not be locked down. For six months, some people allow their destiny to be locked down. I don't know what you experienced during that six months. But I experienced favor. I experienced open doors. I experienced a kind of intimacy with God that I didn't even experience before. Lockdown or no lockdown, there is no lockdown in heaven. There is no lockdown of the power of God. I pray for you, your destiny will not be locked down in Jesus' name. Sickness will not lock you down. 
I say it one more time. Sickness will not lock you down. Poverty will not lock you down. The enemy will not lock you down. And most importantly, hear me well. You are listening here in the auditorium. You are listening online. Hear me well. You will not lock yourself down. I say it one more time. You will not lock yourself down. The government declared a lockdown. And many people locked themselves down. They locked their tambourine down. The last time they used tambourine was six months ago. They locked their Bibles down. They locked their church clothing. They locked it down. You are your biggest enemy. All the government did was to lock the building. And then you join hands with the enemy to lock yourself down. You locked everything that could have opened the door for you. You locked it down. I pray for you that you will not be the enemy of your soul. Rise on your feet and declare, I shall not lock myself down. Go ahead and pray for yourself. Many of you lock yourself down. The last time you praised God wonderfully was six months ago. The last time you dressed like this, the last time you dressed like this was six months ago. The last time you, you studied your work fervently was six months ago. I refuse to lock myself down. Try to God. I refuse to join hands with the enemy. I refuse to join hands with the enemy. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Before you sit down again, you see, God brings everything. In this world for a purpose. Coronavirus is for a purpose. To test the people that can stand the test of time. Isaac or Abraham offered Isaac unto me. Offer me Isaac. I want him as an offering. God didn't want to eat Isaac. God wanted to test Abraham. The lockdown was a test of your faith. It was a test of your spirituality. And apart from locking down yourselves, many of you locked down your offering. You locked down your tithe. What opens the heaven over you? You closed it. As I looked at the offering every week, it dropped by 75%. By how many percent? Did they lock your pocket? Did they lock your feet? Oh, pastor, times are hard. That is the time to prove to God that nothing can close the heavens over you. The, the prophet went to the widow. Widow, widow, give an offering. The widow said, prophet, let me tell you, this is the last meal I have. This is the last meal that is locked down in my life. Prophet, prophet that is locked down. This is the last meal. I just want to eat and die. Who knows what the prophet said? Who can remember? Even that last meal, madam, that last meal, offer it to God. That last meal that you want to eat and die, offer it to God. She offered it and the heavens opened. Many of you locked down your future during the lockdown. You locked down your destiny the lockdown. Cry to God one more time. Father, please have not let me lock down my life. Cry to God. Don't let me lock down my life. 
Don't let me lock down my destiny. Don't let me join hands with the wicked to spoil my life. Father, don't let me lock down my own life. Don't allow me to be the enemy of my soul. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Please take your seat. People pray fervently for God to destroy the works of the enemy. But sometimes they are the enemy. The people sang. They sang because they went from lack to abundance. They did what? They went from lack to abundance. That's why they sang the song, Who is like unto thee, O God? How many of you are believing God for abundance? You believe in God for abundance. The grace to receive it today. I pray may God release unto you in Jesus' name. Exodus chapter 12, verse 36. Exodus 12, verse 36. If you put it on the screen. See, God gave the people. The people favor in the sight of the Egyptians. So that they lent unto them such things as they required and they spoiled the Egyptians. During the lockdown of the Israelites, they went into abundance. During lockdown, they came out of the lockdown looking fresher, looking magnificent. Many of the Christians of this day will come out of the lockdown looking, they, were, they have lost weight. They have lost their vitality. Can't you see yourself? For the last two, three weeks, see what has been happening. See the quality of the of, of, of administration of choir. They are just trying to build themselves up now. They came out of, 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 of the lockdown struggling. Look at the instrumentals. They came out of the lockdown struggling. And look at you yourself. Are you as fervent as you were before the lockdown? Where are the church members? They are still adjusting back to life to come to church. Many of them are no longer used to coming into the presence of God. But the Israelites came out of the lockdown shining. They came out of the lockdown doing what? Shining. There are some examples that I wanted to give you. Let, let me share one for you. The work of God is coming out of this lockdown shining. In the last six months, do you know how many people have been reached by the work of God? What we couldn't achieve in 20 years. When the building was open, if they allowed the building to be open for the next 50 years, 100 years, we will not be able to achieve it. But in six months, online alone, my own undo alone, my own Facebook page alone, reached 3.8 million people. In six months, 3.8 million people Receive the word in six months. How long will it take us inside the building to reach 3.8 million people? The lockdown is not an excuse to suffer lack. When you finish the first service, before you join the second service, go downstairs. Look the back of this building, you will see one massive, one massive generator. When the building was open, we prayed, we fasted, we begged people, contribute money now, contribute money, contribute money for generator. 
this thing, the, the, build, the church is growing big, faster than the capacity of our generator. We had four generators, four. Two 60 kVAs, two 150 kVAs. We were struggling. But when the building was closed, God raised up help. And we were able to buy 500 kVA generator, 500 kVA that can take all the buildings in this complex without shaking. During the lockdown, rise on your feet and say, Lord, have mercy on me and favor me, even in the season of lockdown. There is power if you can touch it, if you can, if you can reach out and touch the power of God. There is power. The power of God can never be locked down. The mercy of God can never be locked down. Lord, have mercy on me. Have mercy on me and help me to taste of your power, to reach your power. Even when others are saying there is a casting down, let me be able to say there is a lifting up. Pray it for yourself. You don't belong to the majority. You belong to the blessed minority. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. How many of you believe that, that you belong to the blessed minority? Let everybody be saying what they want to say. But you will keep declaring, it is well. You keep declaring what? It is well. Oh, there is lockdown. People are losing their job. It is well. Because what you declare with your mouth is what you will get. I prophesy upon your life. It is well with you in Jesus' name. Lockdown or no lockdown, you will experience the mercy of God. You will experience the power of God. You will experience the favor of God. When others are crying that there is a, 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 a putting down, you will be saying there is a lifting up. Please take your seat for a moment. They sang that song because they went from lack into abundance. The Bible told us the story, of, the story of the Israelites. Said the wicked king not only locked them down, he punished them. The Bible said he told Moses, Moses, you are a jobless man. You have no job. That, that is why you are coming to come and talk to me about you want to leave. I'm not sure you remember the story. He said, Moses, you, you, you seem like a jobless man. And then he asked the, the Egyptians, see, these people are jobless. That's why they are coming to me to say they want to go. Give them more work. In fact, don't give them brick anymore. Let them go and look for their own brick. Let them make the buildings without providing them any material. But you, the Bible said, as they were pressing down, the Israelites, as they were locking them down, they were increasing. They, they, they were increasing in number. They were increasing in strength. How do you explain that? The Egyptians were eating good food. The Egyptians were eating in a fine house. But the people that were slaves were growing fatter. They were growing stronger. Because there is food in heaven. That the eyes cannot see. There is anointing that is beyond what is visible to the ordinary eyes. You are experiencing your own lockdown. But you should emerge bigger and stronger. I prophesy upon your life. The same God of Israel. That God will manifest his power in your life in Jesus name. <laughs> Number three, let me round up. There will be more. We will go a little bit deeper in the second service. In the first service, I have only about 25 minutes to preach. But wait for the second service and we'll go a little bit deeper. They sang because they went from fear to faith. That's point number three. They sang that song because they went from fear to faith. Many of you listening online and here today, you, are, you, are, you have been captured by fear. What is going to happen to me? How will I survive? 
How, how will I be able to, 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 to sustain my career? Ah, your career is not in the hands of man. How many of you believe that your, your career, your destiny is not in the hands of man? How will I pay the school fees of my children? How will my business recover? Shift gear. Shift from fear. Shift to faith. The Bible said in Exodus chapter 14, verse, verse 15, God looked at them and said, why are you crying? Put it on the screen if you can, please. God said to Moses, why are you crying to me? Speak to the children of Israel that they, they go forward. The time of lockdown is the time to do what? It's time to go forward. Many now are closing their shops, closing their businesses. They are, they are closing down their life. And God is saying, tell them to go forward. They said to Moses, we are done for. Look at the Egyptian soldiers coming behind us. Look at the Red Sea in front of us. We are about to die. And God said, tell them to, tell them to go forward. Who is God talking to this morning? This is not the time to fear. It is the time to go forward. Romans chapter 1 verse 17 says, The just shall live by faith. How many of you are ready to believe God? You're ready to believe God. You're ready to believe God. They looked at Moses. Moses, are you seeing what we are seeing? Look at them. Look at the Egyptian soldiers running towards us. Look at the Red Sea in front of us. Moses, are you seeing the same thing that we are seeing? And Moses said, believe God. Go forward. They went forward into the Red Sea and the sea parted for them. If they had not gone forward, they would have died in their lockdown. I don't know what it is that you are about to do to lock down your life. And God is saying to you this morning, it's not a time to fear. It's a time to trust in the Lord. I pray for somebody here, the grace to move forward. May God give unto you in the mighty name of Jesus. It's not a time to cry. I don't know some of you that are experiencing so much turbulence this time. You, 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 are, you have wept your heart out. It's not the time to weep. Even concerning the singles. Oh, pastor, when the building was open and there were 1,000, 3,000 people, I didn't get a husband. Is it now that they have locked down all the men that I will find husband? Hello. No, nobody can lock down your own husband. Let them lock down the country ten times over. The man that God has called your own. No man and nothing can lock down. You know the story that happened when we started Light of the World in 2007? We started that parish in our living room. And a sister in Promised Land said, Pastor, can I follow you? Ah, you want to follow me to my, to my living room? The church we are starting is inside our parlor. This was a single girl, maybe 30 something, almost 40 years. Pastor, can I follow us? Ah, you follow me to my living room. You are here in Promised Land, the largest church in the province. You have not found husband. You want to follow me to the, to the one inside the parlor? She believed God. She followed us to start light of the world in our living room. In a matter of a few months, she was married. A few months after, twins. What could not happen in the crowd 
happened with 14 people gathered unto God. Rise on your feet. Say, I refuse to fear. My tomorrow will be all right. Go ahead and talk to the Lord. I refuse to fear. My tomorrow will be all right. I refuse to fear. My tomorrow will be all right. Nothing can lock down my destiny. Nothing can lock down my future. Nothing can lock down the blessing of God for my life. I refuse to fear. I refuse to cry. My tomorrow will be all right. Go ahead and talk to God. My tomorrow will be all right. Declare it upon yourself. I prophesy upon myself. Prophesy upon yourself. I prophesy upon my own life. My tomorrow will be all right. It's not my time to fear. It's not my time to cry. It's not my time to lament. There is God in my life. And when God is present in my life, I know that my tomorrow will be all right. My tomorrow will be all right. My tomorrow will be all right. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Please take your seat that I just minister to those that God has asked me to, to pray with them. You are among those that have been afraid. You are among those that have been crying. We may not know, but in your own secret moments, you, you, you've been crying, you've been afraid. Just, just stand wherever you are. If you are in the auditorium, just stand wherever you are. I just want to pray with you. You are the reason for this message. God has not forgotten you. Just stand wherever you are. God bless you. God bless you, my sister. God bless you, my brother. You have been afraid. You have been crying. Father, I just want to thank you, Lord, for your sons. I want to thank you for your daughters. Even as you have declared this morning, Lord, it's not their time to fear. It's not their time to cry but the time to move forward and prosper. May God Almighty push you forward. And the blessing that God has prepared for you, as you go towards it in faith, may your joy be full. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. God bless you. You are here this morning. You're saying, Pastor, I just want to surrender my life to this God. The God that cannot be locked down. You've been struggling on your own, trying to go through life on your own. But God is saying, my son, my daughter, why don't you let me carry you on my shoulder? Let me carry you on my shoulder. That's the word of God for you. I'm just saying, Pastor, I am the one. I just want to surrender my life to Jesus. Please lift up your hand wherever you are. Just lift it up very well. God bless you. God bless you, my brother. God bless you. Just lift, keep it up. God bless you. I can see those hands. Just keep it up. Keep it up. As the choir take the song, what a friend we have in Jesus. What a friend we have in God bless you. Just stand if you can. What just stand wherever you are. God bless you. We are just stand. Just stand Jesus. wherever you are. God bless you. I can see those hands. Just stand. Oh, Say, Lord, please I carry me on your shoulders. To I don't want to struggle through life on my own. I don't want to struggle through life on my what own. A privilege what a privilege. What a privilege. What a privilege. God bless you. Just stand wherever you are. God bless you. God bless you. I can see the hands. I can see the hands. God bless you. God bless you, my brother. God bless you, my sister. Yes. Because we do not carry everything to God in prayer. Father, we commit your sons and your daughters that are here in the auditorium. And those of you that are around the world, you are also surrendering your life to Jesus. I pray, please say this prayer after me. You say, just say, Father, thank you for the grace to surrender unto you today. I am tired of going through life on my own. Please carry me on your shoulders. Save my life. Help me. 
In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. God bless you. It is well with you. You can take your seat. Please give them the, the, the sleep and send your name to us. Those of you that are online, send your name and your telephone number to us on the email that is on the screen as well as on the number that is on the screen. From today, you will experience the power and the grace of the Almighty in Jesus' name.